Hello, welcome to Safari. And today, you're gonna to be able to learn about various different animals and how they eat, the habitats they did live in, and interesting facts. And these are the guys that's gonna tell you about some things. Everybody say hello. Hello. You may not see all these people on TV, but they're back there using the cameras and the media room and all of that too. Everybody has contributed to this wonderful show, so hope you enjoy it. Do you like fur clothing? You know, Gucci, Prada, and the whole enchilada? Well, you're not going to after you hear this. Hi, I'm Manuela. Hey, I'm Martha. This is Taya, our pet chinchilla. Well, in order to get these awesome fur clothing, animals like Taya have to die. Yeah, Taya's species was once in danger because she has super soft fur that people loved. Chinchillas are bred on farms and then killed for their fur. In fact, it takes at least 150 chinchillas just to make one coat. So you can see, how a lot of chinchillas have to die just to make one coat. Now we are going to tell you facts about the chinchilla. Did you know the strongest bone in the chinchilla's body is its tail? That is why we pick it up by the tail. Anyway, I bet that you didn't know that chinchilla live in the Andes Mountains in South America and live in groups called herds at high altitudes. Historically, chinchillas lived in the Andes Mountains of Bolivia, Peru, and Chile. But today, herds of chinchillas in the wild remain only in Peru and Chile at altitudes of over 5,000 meters. Another fact that we would like to tell you about Taya is that she's a herbivore. That means she only eats plants. Also, the chinchilla, chinchilla is actually nocturnal. That means that she sleeps during the day and is awake during the night. You can tell by her big black eyes, she uses her big black eyes to see at night. You can also tell by her whiskers. She uses her whiskers for sensing that what's around her. That's also why she is constantly moving her whiskers. And her ears, Martha, don't forget about her ears. That's right, I almost forgot. You can also tell by her ears. She uses her big ears for hearing at night. Did you also know that Taya is a rodent? Since she is a rodent, her teeth are always growing, so that means that she needs to constantly be chewing. Martha, she doesn't like to be called a rodent. Sorry, it's true. So the last thing that we would like to tell you about the chinchilla is that due to the fact of her fur being so oily, she has to bathe in volcanic ash, or as we like to call it, a dust bath. So I bet that you're wondering what this is. This is how we let Taya take a bath. We are going to demonstrate the dust bath to you right now. So this is how Taya bath bathes. She rolls around in the volcanic ash. And after this, she gets really dusty. Well, it's too bad, but we have gotten to the end. So we are going to say goodbye, and we hope that you enjoy all of the facts that we gave to you about Taya. Bye. Sydney. Sorry. Hello, my name is Sydney, and this is Jessica. We are here today to talk to you about our little friend Rosie. As you can tell, she's a snake. Actually, to be specific, she's a corn snake. Corn snakes are one of the 3,000 different types of snakes. They are diurnal, meaning they are active prim primarily during the day. They climb trees and slither around abandoned buildings in search of prey. However, they are secretive and spend most of their time hiding out in rodent burrows. Ew, mice. Dude, you know that's, n that's her meal, right? Oh yeah, Rosie is a carnivore. She is on a flesh diet. Jess, do you really think it's the best idea to have her around your fleshly made neck? Well, it's not like she can devour me. I'm literally like 15 times her size. Wait, how did she fit those mice in her little mouth? Well, she can unlock her jaw big enough to fit a mouse. Okay, great. Well, do you own a snake belt? You'll want to return it after this. What if it's my favorite accessory? It takes three of her to make one of those accessories. What well, she can't hear wouldn't hurt her. She can't exactly hear anything. She doesn't have normal ears. Then how does she detect sound? Snakes feel the vibration through their skin and muscles to a bone connected to their inner ear. Cool, so why is she called a corn snake? A corn snake's ventral surface has yellowish square-like shapes, like a corn. They typically live on cornfields on the east coast of the U.S. They are often also referred to as red rat snakes. Yes, that name comes from its coloring. 
which is usually reddish orange or orange brown depending on its elevation. Snakes at higher elevations tend to be browner. Wow, look at her red eyes. Yeah, maybe some blue eyeshadow will make them pop a little bit. Actually, she doesn't have eyelids. Where are we going to put the eyeshadow? On her scales, maybe? Bruh, she's just not a makeup person. Okay, fine. In other words, Rosie shed a few days ago. She what? Snakes don't grow out their scales, so once in a while, they turn white and peel off their scales. Oh, uh, okay, that's kind of scary. But it's pretty cool. Speaking of growing, how big does corn snakes get? Corn snakes are typically three to five feet long, but some may grow as big as six feet. Corn snakes like Rosie can live up to six to eight years in the wild and 25 in captivity. Can we see her eat now? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Wow, I'm getting hungry. Well, this is the end of our show. Let's go grab some lunch. That's all we have for you today. Hope you enjoyed. Bye. Bye. Good afternoon, everyone, and good afternoon, Shannon. Good afternoon, Belle. So why are you here today? I'm here to learn about my turtle, Jasmine. What would you like to know? Well, how about we start with everything? Are you sure? Yep. All right, so here are some basic facts you should know. First, actually, you don't have a turtle. You don't have a tortoise. To tell them apart, you look at their shells. Turtles have a flat shell, and tortoises have a dome-shaped curved shell. Second, your beloved Jasmine isn't a girl. She is, er, he is a boy. To tell the difference, you should look underneath to see if the bottom shell plate is flattened or curved. Mm -hmm. If the bottom shell plate is flattened, if it's a girl. And if it's curved, it's a boy. Third, the breed you have is called the Sol cast breed, a.k.a. the spurred thigh tortoise. The reason why they're called that is because they have spurs on their thighs to dig holes to help keep them cool. Can he snap my hand off? Because if he can, my mom said I have to give him, mm, her, back. If you didn't so rudely interrupt me just now, I was about to tell you that your buddy here doesn't snap or bite. He's harmless unless he feels threatened. Oops, sorry, please continue. As I was saying, tortoises are herbivores, meaning they only eat fruit and veggies. Make sure you only feed them foods high in fiber like they would find in the wild, such as leafy greens, apples, bananas, and other fruits, grasses, weeds, and beans. They also can live over a century. Did you know a tortoise named Tui Malali was born in 1777 and died naturally on May 19, 1965 at the age of 185? Oh, good. I see. I don't have to plan any funerals anytime soon. Um, okay. Can tortoises feel it when we pet their shells? Yes. The carapace or the upper part of the shell is a bone, which has nerve endings. So whenever we touch the tortoise's shell, he or she can feel that we're touching it. That's good to know, because I have two little brothers who like to rough house with each other. Oh, I see. Make sure they don't hurt the tortoise or, or each other. Don't worry, I will. Okay, great. I also bet you didn't know you have the third largest tortoise species in the world and the biggest species from Africa. You could say that they're kings of the Saharan desert. Wow, I feel so honored that I have this great tortoise that is the third largest species in the world. Yep. Anyways, that's all the time I have now, Belle. I have to check out my new patient. Thanks for coming, to, coming by to visit. Thanks, Shannon. I can't wait to tell my family all about this visit. Hello, my name is Irvin. And my name is Asher. Today's animal of the day is the iguana. Hey, do you want to know some cool facts about this iguana? She has three eyes and two to see images and one eye to detect sunlight. She needs to know when it's warm enough to lay her eggs. Look at her outer covering. Brasilia has scales that are rough. She is protected from the hot sun and doesn't dry out. Look at those appendages. The iguana has sharp claws and a long tail to climb trees to get away from predators. Some predators are big birds like hawks. Did you know an iguana can survive a 40 to 50 feet fall? She also has a forked tongue. She uses it to smell left and to smell right. Her nose is only used to take in air. Hey Asher, how do you think, how do iguanas impress females? 
The iguanas show their dewlap, which is the flap of skin that hangs below their neck. How long do iguanas live up to with proper care? They could live up to 20 years in the wild. They live only five to seven years. Asher, how do iguanas communicate? They communicate through visual signs with other iguanas. They do this by through a, they do this by through a series of eye movements and other iguanas pick up scent uh, since they have good eyesight. Wow, it's really cool. Yes, it's impressive. What is the iguana's main prey? Well, they eat leaves and fruits. That makes them herbivores. Yummy, you have gotten me hungry. Well, this is the end of our show. Hope you enjoy today's Alamo of the Day Brazilian the Iguana. Thank you so much for watching our show, guys. And if you're interested in scheduling a safari, you may contact Westbury Middle School. Everybody say bye. Bye. bye.